Shooter Asadi Coleman is headed to prison for 74 years to life. Well, Action News Now reporter Chloe Curtis has been following this case from the night of the shooting, including through the courts, and shows us what happened today inside the courtroom and how some survivors are feeling. Thank you, Mr. Coleman. Good luck to you, sir. Our court is adjourned. More than two years later, Greyhound bus shooter Asadi Coleman was sentenced at the courthouse in Oroville today. Several people spoke, including Bobby Farber, one of the five people shot that night in February 2022. It's like a weight off my shoulders. I actually feel pretty good about it. It's not bad. Better than I thought I would. It's been 849 days since the shooting. Farber spent each of those recovering physically and emotionally. The way I see it is I have to go every day with a smile on my face because the, like, the minute I don't, like the second I don't, I'm all sad or I'm get that pity party. You know what I mean, I think I just start deteriorating. Life will go downhill. So one day at a time, just smile, be good, be happy. Um, I'm a lot stronger than you think, and, and what you've done, what you did is not acceptable. Coleman's actions drastically changed Farber's life, and somehow Farber says he's still found the strength to keep going and even forgive. He credits his faith. After being shot, it's like life kind of got a little rough, so it, one thing just led to another and put me in this ministry, and I'm surrounded by good people, people that actually care for me, you know, and... It probably no, it would not have happened if it, this if this sad story didn't happen. You know what I mean? Faith and friends guiding him through recovery. I can hate him all I want, but what what good does that do? You know what I mean? Like what happened happened. I'm hoping like maybe he'll find God while he's in there and, and become a better person. Asadi Coleman was sentenced to 74 years and eight months to life in prison today. Now, since Coleman was under the age of 26 at the time of the shooting, he'll be eligible for parole after 25 years. However, the district attorney's office tells me while he'll eventually be able to apply for parole, it doesn't mean it'll ever be granted given the nature of this case. Coleman's sentence includes charges for second degree murder and attempted murder, each carrying a 25 year enhancement for the physical damage he caused with a gun, including killing Karen Dalton and paralyzing Farber. You have destroyed my life, my family's life. You took my wife, my children's mother. The judge considered victim statements from Farber, Rose Whitley, and the family of Karen Dalton, including her husband and her daughter, who at age 11 was also shot that night. I was actually really surprised. I didn't recognize her at first. She's growing up. Even in the panic on board, Farber says he tried to protect Karen's little boy and girl, pushing them out of the bus towards safety. While all the passengers on board are tied together through the event, Farber says he thinks about Dalton's kids often, hopeful for their continued recovery. I want to make sure they're okay. That's about it. Like I, That's my main thing right there is to stay in touch with them. So other than that, I one day at a time. While Coleman faces 74 years to life in this case, he also faces an additional 16 months for separate cases out of Alameda and Sacramento counties. In Orville, Chloe Curtis, Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Here's an interesting side note. The district attorney's office tells Action News Now that Coleman's father is in prison for murder and that his brother, Coleman's brother, is currently facing charges of murder in Sacramento County.